Hello everyone, today we are going to be unboxing the Apexel iPhone lenses or call this smartphone lenses or the smartphone lens kit that I bought from Shopee. So the cost of this product is about 500 pesos in the Shopee market. Here's the box of the package, the side and the back. So let's open it. So when we open it, there's this case here. Open it. There we go. We have one, two, three, four, and five lenses. Which is very good for its price, 500 pesos. And I've heard a lot of reviews from this product. It says all good reviews, but I haven't tested it. So let's test it right now. So here we have the we have the super thir zero point thirty six super wide fish islands zero point sixty three and macro fifteen x lens kaleidoscope lens. CPL mobile phone lens and last but not the least the telephoto lens time to test all of these lenses and using the iPhone 8 let's go so here's my iPhone 8 to use all of these lenses we are gonna need this clip and attach it onto, onto the back of the phone or the back lens or the rear lens just attach it at the back make sure it's aligned as you can see you can see the lens right here I forgot to mention this came with the microfiber cloth but I think I've used it I've lost it I've lost the microfiber I don't know where did I put it but yeah it came with a microfiber cloth just to let you know so what i have right now is a 0 0.36 wide angle lens so let's go to the camera app and see our image we're gonna test this plant over here so here's our subject the plant and let's see the super wide or the 0 0.36 wide angle lens that's how it looks with the lens on and without the lens boom with the lens there we go 0 0.36 x lens when we go to the video this where we see a massive difference go to video remove the lens boom it's so close you cannot adjust the angle of this or wider so what we're just gonna do is attach this lens here and angle it properly there we go the cheaper versions of this kind of sets are actually bad because there's gonna be like vignettes all over the place there will be like blurry image but here it's not that bad landscape there we go we see the more see a more difference landscape then we remove the lens boom it's a bit close it's close attach the lens and there we go it's a bit wider now then let's unscrew this if you want to change it just unscrew this and change it let's see here which one I'll change it to the fisheye lens screw that in the clip here we go we screw the fisheye and here we go fisheye boom we can go a bit more closer 
put the I put the item back here. You see, it's a bit more wider. Let's go to photo. Boom. That's why there's a circle because it's called a fisheye. That's why there's this like big vignette covering the lens. But in the video, it looks good. There's not much blurry. Look how sharp the image is. That's how sharp it is. I like the lenses because it's sharp. It's a very affordable. The most cheapest lens or the cheapest lens you can buy for an iPhone or a phone. You can use this for your Android cell phones. Now let's change it to a different lens. Unscrew. Let's see which lens are we gonna choose. Maybe the telephoto. Let's try the telephoto. Screw that in. It's very easy. There we go, the telephoto. Uh, you can see it's more zoomed in. We can go to my camera, go do that. But when we remove the lens, what you call? Wait to see this. Boom, it's a bit far. Putting back the lens. So that's a telephoto. As you can see, it's a bit more zoomed in. And yeah, you can see the details of the image. Let's see how sharp it looks. There we go. It's actually pretty sharp. Like legit. There's no blurry, blurry image here. It's just sharp. And let's change to the macro lens okay the macro lens is maybe the most uh, wanted lenses for an iphone and then let's gonna do that uh, let's unscrew there we go there's like an attachment of super wide there's like 0 0.63 wide that is like what do I call this? Attach the macro. So this is the macro, but this has this wide, call this wide lens attached. We're gonna remove that. Mostly we're gonna use the wide in this situation or the macro in these situations. Screw that in. And boom, there's this macro see that details let's actually let's go to photo there we go that's a macro you can see the details it's a very sharp lens you see that it's a very it will help you take macro shots or very close-up shots here there's like a bit of blurriness in the circular part but it looks cool shush look when we remove this when we remove this lens this is what it looks like boom can't even focus putting back the lens you see every detail shush this looks cool I can lie we it looks fun to use let's go to video Oh my god, it looks cool! Wow! Never tried the macro lens before. Now, let's try a different lens here. We're gonna try a CPL filter. Um, what does a CPL filter do? Uh, let's try, uh, let's figure that out. Screw that to the lens clip. So, how can we know the difference of what does the effect of a CPL filter lens do? Um, it removes the reflection or the glare to your photos. I'm gonna find an object which will do that. As you can see here, there's this glare on the lens. But when we spin it, it removes it. It becomes color black again. Boom. Pow. Boom. There we go. The glare is there, but when we put back the filter then no more glare this will help for car photography or just cutting reflections on your image the last lens is the kaleidoscope lens 
So kaleidoscope lens will give this amazing shapes of images. And here we go, kaleidoscope. Let's put back the subject here. And boom. Hey, that looks fun. <laughs> looks cool. It got this reflection shots or refraction. Oh, boom. Look at that hand. Oh my god. That looks cool. And removing it. But that's how it looks. And my favorite lens here would be the 0 0.36 wide. Let me get that out. This wide angle lens, 0 0.36, super wide. Because I want to do shoot POV videos using this lens. And it will really help me in filming, uh, what do you call this, a photo shoot with strangers. As you know, I started this series where I photo shoot strangers for free. And I don't know about you guys, I think there's a, a lot of lenses to choose from. Kaleidoscope, fisheye, tele telephoto, macro, CPL. For 500 pesos worth the price product for your phone for you know improve your mobile photography there's a lot of uh, call this more high quality products than this but it's expensive it costs you about thousands of pesos but man for 500 pesos you can go wrong with the apexel really good product right here and yeah that's about it bro this super this wide angle lens is so good dude yeah this will actually help me a lot because in the video i don't know why did they do this but in video why is it uh why is it you know there's no wide angle in the video but in photo there's wide i don't know how would you fix that bro but here in photo it's a bit wider than video i don't know how to fix that so i result into these lenses i could actually use the wide angle lens or the fisheye lens to do a pov video but yeah i think the super wide 0 0.36 would um be enough for that and that's about it everyone i hope you enjoy i don't know what's bad about this because mm. i'm not a, that a professional I, it's my first time using this kind of products so i have not much to say about this but all i can say is very great product the quality is amazing the metal doesn't feel cheap most of this uh, price range of any products that i bought in shopee or lazada is trash They're, the plastic is garbage most of them didn't came out of didn't came like with a metal build or metal or metal material but man this feels nice it feels wonderful like legit you see that you can actually hear the metal and this will help me improve the pov videos for my upcoming photo shoot with strangers season 2 so i stopped in i don't know episode 6 because i ran out of content next year will be a great year i'm gonna improve my equipment I'm gonna try to improve it and hoping to improve my skills with photography and you know take more photos with you guys so stay tuned for that video mm. that will be an upcoming project because now i have this different kind of lenses to help me for my pov yeah that's about it and i'm, I'm excited to do that this season one was a great uh experience going outside and taking pictures with this with strangers is literally a new experience you know out of my comfort zone and i would like to do that more stepping out to my comfort zone and be creative and try different things to improve my photography and thank you for all of your support and my social media links is down below you can check all of those photos that i shot with strangers or more photos in my instagram and that's about it hope you guys enjoyed hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell on so you won't miss an upload and like this video if you liked it and if you disliked it uh the new feature of youtube doesn't let me see that apexel 7 oh no 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 i'll give this a 9 out of 10 product and 
see you guys next time peace